<sighs> Toronto. <laughs> that too dramatic? Is it a little... Okay, well, whatever, I'm leaving it. Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today is day two, or at least day two for us, because it is our second day over at Fan Expo Limited Edition. And so today we're gonna be looking for some stuff for my brother Noah, because he's looking for JoJo and One Piece stuff, and he wasn't able to come due to school, so I'm gonna see what I can find, and I'm hoping I can get something good. Oh, and if you guys are wondering what I'm on the hunt for, just some figures that you can't find at, like, your local EB Games or Hot Topic, because that's my favorite part about coming to conventions like this. So anyways, guys, I guess let's go down there, and we'll see you at the convention. Okay, so we stopped over at our first booth here with a lot of pops, and this one has a lot of Star Wars ones, or at least I'm in the Star Wars section here, and I wanted to show them off because they do have some of the black box figures here, like the Boba Fett, as well as the original Darth Vader, and that original Stormtrooper with those beady little eyes. And now I did mention earlier that I'm on the hunt for something for Noah, and I found a lot of these anime figures, but they're kind of big. I don't know if I want to carry them, and also, I don't know if they have any One Piece ones, so I will dig around for a little bit. Maybe they'll have a small one like about this size. That could be neat. So I'm still on the hunt for the figure for Noah, but then I also noticed that they've got some pop pez over here and this is stuff that you don't really see at comic-con because i don't really know why people don't really have them at their booths but if you guys want to check them out here is a bunch of them right here and then they also have a lot and i mean a lot of pocket pops i got a little bit closer so you guys can see them better and if you guys want to check it out they've got like mr me seeks over here i also see r2d2 bob ross is a really great one uh, they've also got the mr monopoly down bottom here i see some of the power rangers dustin from stranger things like there really is a lot of weird ones and i'm glad that i found this and hold on guys actually before we go to the next booth. I wanted to show off this Hulkbuster because look at how small this thing is. Now you know what guys, since it's here I figured we might as well come back to the mypops.ca booth just to see what they've got today. I mentioned in yesterday's video that I was thinking of getting a John Lennon. They do have more of them here today. So I might have to grab this one, but I'm still looking around. Oh, and you know what guys, since we're here, I also mentioned that I was on the hunt for something for Noah, and I found this here for only 45 bucks. This is a One Piece Mega World collectible figure. I might get this today, because I know he is really watching One Piece right now. All right, so we finished up over at the My Pops booth, and I wanted to show you guys that I did get something kind of special. We'll show it off later, but I think you guys know what it is. I also want to come back to this booth over here, guys, because they do have the most expensive one that I found at the con so far, $6,000 for that holographic Darth Maul. And I did show this off yesterday, but I wanted to see if it was still here, and it looks like it is. And uh, yeah, that is a pretty crazy figure here to find. I came over to the other side of the Star Wars ones because it looks like they moved everything around since yesterday. And I want to show it off because they do have some interesting ones here, like the Nick Wild for 33 They also have Jim Henson, Vampire Jack. Actually, a lot of these ones are some pretty interesting figures, and I don't have this one from my Zootopia set, so maybe, I don't know, I am just digging around, of course. Um, and then they also have Sora from Best Buy, which is a pretty interesting one. And then the actual Ice Anna, that is a neat figure right there. So guys, I did some more digging around in the Star Wars section. I think I looked at this one earlier, but I want to grab it because this is the Luke Skywalker in his Tatooine outfit. And this is kind of like just a normal Luke, so I think it'd be cool to have in my blue box collection. In yesterday's hunt, I only did a quick shot of these, but I wanted to get a little bit more in-depth because a lot of you guys were asking about them. They had this one here, the Gigantor one, and it looks like all of them are 50% off, so they were 80, now they're only 40, and I think that these are actually a pretty great deal if you're over here at Fan Expo. Actually, guys, the merch booth isn't too busy right now, so I figured I might as well show these off while I can. We've got the Joyce in the biohazard suit. We've got Wayne and Garth in their hockey attire. We also have Stephen King over here, Ben Wyatt, Austin Matthews, and Wonder Woman. Oh, and also, guys, since we're in line, I decided to grab my dad a t-shirt. If you guys want to check it out, it is that one on the back wall right there. I think you'll like it. I should show these off, guys, because look what they've got at the top here. A lot of the bare bricks, and these are the thousand percent ones. They've got, like, Cookie Monster, also some artist ones as well. And if you guys want to check it out, I think that's peanuts on the side there. Yeah, it definitely is. 
guys. And then also on the end there, the Toy Story Alien, there's a lot of really cool stuff up at the top here. Over here, guys, I ran into a bunch of the Minion figures, which I figured I might as well show off. And then down here, they even have Stitch 626 and the original Lilo. Oh, and the original Stitch. Pretty cool. Also at the same booth, guys, I found a bunch of the Art Series figures. I believe these ones are normally exclusive to Walmart, but I guess they have them at this booth as well. I know I've been showing off a lot of the Blue Box Star Wars ones, but I found some more and I wanted to show more of them off. So we've got the Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot, the original Yoda, R2-D2, Bib Fortuna, as well as Niall Chio. These are two that I think I've only seen at this booth. They also have the TIE Fighter pilot and then the Princess Leia Boosh, and that is definitely a neat one. And well guys, there you go. That was our second day over at Fan Expo. And before we get out of here for today, I do have to show you guys everything that we got, so let's go do that. Okay, now I know what you guys are thinking. Tristan, what are you doing at home? Well, let me explain. So we were only there for three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And of course, today is Sunday and we came home tonight because, well, that's it for the convention. And I really do think it was a lot of fun to go to the con. We got to check out some booths, you know, buy some figures that I wouldn't normally see in stores and just overall have a good time. And I guess, guys, let's just get into the figures that we we got today and also I do want to let you guys know that I filmed some more stuff in Toronto that will be coming out later this week so stay tuned for that and I guess let's start with Noah's figure here which is the One Piece Mega World collectible figure special now I do want to let you guys know it's not in here anymore he's already got it he'll probably post it on his Instagram if you guys want to check it out but here is the box for it right here and I think that this thing is actually really nice for $45 if you guys didn't see we picked this one up over at the my pops booth and they really did have a great one they're also some really nice guys and if you haven't checked out their store or their website, I definitely recommend it. And I guess we'll go through the rest of the gifts that I bought today for people. And the second one was this right here. This one was the one for my dad. I bought him a t-shirt. Now, it is his shirt. I don't know if I want to take it out yet. I'll probably let him take it out of the bag. But if you guys want to check it out, on the side here it says United by Fandom. It was pretty much just their logo put onto a t-shirt and I really did enjoy this. And it is kind of a cool shirt, especially because it's got stuff like, let me see here, Spider-Man, Wonder Woman. I think that is Wolverine as well as Freddy Krueger and Darth Vader? That seems to be about it. Well, actually, that might be Darth Vader, or that also could be Luke, because the lightsaber is green. But then again, it says United by Fandom, so maybe they're mixing them together, and that could be Darth Vader's arm with Luke's lightsaber. I don't know. But anyways, I thought it was a pretty nice shirt, and if you guys want to see the logo, there it is right there. That's what's on the shirt. It's just, I'm not going to open it up now, because it's a gift for my dad. And now, you know what, guys? Let's keep the Star Wars rolling here, because this one is one that I bought at a random booth, but it is the Luke Skywalker Tatooine, and this really is a nice pop, especially because I don't have Luke in, like, a normal outfit. Because I'm looking over there, I've got Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing pilot outfit, then I also have Luke in his Hoth attire, but I do not have him in something like this, so that's why I grabbed it. And in case you guys are wondering how much I paid for this one, it was $40. I don't even know if that was a good deal. I just really wanted this one, especially because it had a decent box. It was one of the blue box ones as well, and I am trying to get as many of those as possible, so I figured, hey, whatever. And especially because this one came out in 2015, and the lightsaber is pretty straight. A lot of the older ones have them kind of bent down like this, but this one wasn't too bad. And now, let's Let's go back over to the My Pops booth where I got two other figures and they're actually the last two that we got for today and I guess we'll start with this one here which is the unreleased New York Comic Con exclusive John Lennon and I really am glad that I got this one. And I could totally understand why this one was going to be exclusive to New York Comic Con because this is him in his New York City t-shirt and I'm pretty sure he's wearing it. Yes, he definitely is and it is huge across the front there. And they actually have the photo on the back that it was based off of so if you guys want to check that out, there is the John Lennon picture right there and I was kind of hoping that this one would be black and white because that's what the photo is right there, but I'm okay with the colored version as well. Oh, and you know what, guys? Now that I've taken it out of the box, I'm noticing that the way they did his glasses is kind of like a bit of a bubble to make his eyes look bigger. They're almost like mini magnifying glasses, and that really is a neat touch to the figure. And just overall, I'm really glad that I got this John Lennon because I feel like this could be one of those figures that a lot of people want in the future, and that's why I got it as quick as possible because I wanted it as well. And now, everybody, let's get into the last figure that I picked up, which was the die-cast one. And I feel like a lot of you guys know what it is because there are only two different die-cast ones and I got the Captain America. And I know what you guys are going to say. It says $150 on the front there, but I wanted to get this one because this is the original die-cast Funko Pop. They didn't make any before this. This is the number one in the set, so I figured it would be a really good one to pick up before, I don't know, it gets really expensive. And I know $150 is a lot, but it was going for, I think it was $80 Canadian originally, so it's like almost double the price. It's a lot, I know, but I really wanted to get it. And now we've never actually talked about die-cast pops on the channel before, so if you guys want 
to check this out. There it is from the front right there, and I might do a whole video about these if you guys want to see it, but for now, we'll just kind of take a quick look at this one today. And then if you guys are wondering on the back side here, there really isn't anything too crazy, and then on the bottom, this is what it looks like right there, and it's pretty much the same as a normal pop, but I did notice here that this has a bit of a bump to it, which I do kind of enjoy. And if you guys are wondering, this isn't a normal box, you actually cut it almost like, I would say, an iPhone box, something that Apple would make, and I'm sure it's going to come off very similar. So if you guys want to check this out, yeah, here it is right here. Like, this is definitely an interesting figure, and it is way more premium, especially with the price that goes along with it. And I know the $150 price tag isn't what it normally is, but it is about $80 Canadian, so it still is really expensive. And you guys can see that there is a layer of foam on the top there, and then when you take that off, there is the figure inside right there, but then there's also some more inside to keep the die-cast figure protected. And now we can slide this out, and oh my gosh, this thing is crazy! Okay, now we have to take this one off the bottom, which goes back into the box, and now I think I have to pop it off somehow. I gotta figure out how to do that, and I don't wanna break this thing. All right, everybody, so here is the figure right here, and I have to be kinda careful, because I don't wanna get fingerprints all over this thing, but if you guys want to check out the Captain America, there it is right there, and I love that they gave him this kind of like clear acrylic box, and it does have the exact same stuff that it did on like a normal pop box. I was going to say the outside like this one here, the one that I just showed you guys, but no, it's like a normal pop box that's made of acrylic, and it really is different. And then if you guys want to check out the side, there it is right there, and then on the back side, you can see that there are two screws into the Captain America head, but I mean, you're going to be displaying it like this, so who really cares? And now the next thing to do is actually pop this out of the box, pun intended, and let's see what this thing actually feels like. And also, in case you guys are wondering, there's a bit of a lip on the back here, and I do want to show this. So there's a bit of a lip on the back here that you actually push down on, if you guys can see that, and then the figure just slides out like that, and it really is easy to do. And now here's the Captain America out of the box right here, and on camera, this might just seem like a normal figure, but if I were to do this, you can kind of see that it's a little bit heavier, and also, I don't want to hit it too hard, but just to show you guys, this thing really is made of metal. And something that I did notice about this figure is that everything is kind of like a little bit loose, which I don't really care about, but it does show you that every single piece is made of metal. So the arms are kind of wobbly and so are the feet, but it does stay together nicely still. And I didn't get the Batman one because I wanted to get the first ever die cast figure, which is this one right here. And I definitely think that it was a cool purchase, especially because I could definitely see these getting even more expensive in the future. And yes, even more expensive than $150. And also, if you guys are wondering how to put this thing back onto the base, all you do is you put Put it on and then wait for a click just like that And anyways, guys, there you go. That is Fan Expo Day 2. And please, let me know in the comment section below what was your favorite thing that I showed off today. And the problem was with today, I do want to let you guys know that most of the stuff was exactly the same as the last video. So I tried to show different stuff, but there just wasn't as much. So I tried my best with this one, and I hope that you guys still did enjoy the video. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. To the bone, I ain't sure what you've been told. You're mad, you a clone. Sussy boy don't even have a sound of his own. I'm a dad, you're the song. I'm a fire as I make a hits from my home. I'm a tag, big bro. Baby, no money, baby, no stone. I like chick flicks, yeah, I'm real.